In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O Queen of Heaven, rejoice. Alleluia. For whom, whom ye did marry to bear, Alleluia, has risen as he said, Alleluia. Pray for us to God, Alleluia. Rejoice and be glad, O Virgin Mary, Alleluia. For the Lord has risen indeed, Alleluia. Let us pray. O God, you gave joy to the world, to the resurrection of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Through the intercession of his mother, the Blessed Virgin Mary, may he bring us to everlasting life, through Christ our Lord. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, you are welcome once again to Living Streams of Water, where the Word of God nourishes us, guides us, leads us and empower us for the various things that we do on this earth. Today we are happy because we are celebrating the birth of the church, the birth of the Holy Spirit coming to dwell, to live among us and to fill us each day and to guide us to the truth. We'll reflect upon our first reading from the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 2, the verse 1, 2, 11. When the day of Pentecost had come, they were all gathered in one place, and suddenly a sound came from heaven like a rush of a mighty wind, and it filled all the house where they were sitting. And they appeared to them tongues as of fire, distributed and resting on each one of them. And they were all filled with the Holy Spirit, and became and began to speak in other tongues, as the Spirit gave them utterance. Now there were dwelling in Jerusalem Jews, devout men from every nation under heaven. And at this sound, the, might, the multitude came together, and they were bewildered, because each one heard them speaking in their own language. And they were amazed and wondered, saying, Are not all these who are speaking Galileans? And how is it that we hear each one of them in our own native language? Parthians, Medians, and Elamites and residents of Mesopotamia, Judea and Cappadocia, Pontus and Asia, Phrygia and Pamphylia, Egypt and the other parts of Libya belonging to Cyrene, and visitors from Rome, both Jews and proselytes, Christians and Arabians. We hear them telling in our own tongue the mighty works of God. The word of the Lord. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, today the Holy Spirit has been poured upon us. Today we have received the fullness of God himself because God the Father came to create. God the Son came to redeem us and reconcile us to the Father. And God the Holy Spirit is now around to complete the revelation that God himself has given to us. As we pray today for the descent of the fulfillment, let us remember the Spirit of God is in each and every one of us. The Spirit of God guides each and every one of us. The Spirit of God leads each and every one of us. The Spirit of God inspires each and every one of us. Let us avail ourselves. Beloved in Christ, do you think that the many sins you have committed is keeping the Holy Spirit to inspire you? Do you think that the Spirit cannot make use of you? Are you aware that the only thing that you need to do is to confess your sins? And once your sins are being confessed, you have the grace to make use of the Spirit that God has bestowed upon you because he loves you. He loves you and he speaks your language. He loves you and he bestowed upon you the grace you need. He loves you and comes to you each day. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, 
As today we are led by the Spirit to understand that each and every one of us understand the Word of God in His own Word, let us also know that the Spirit of God has been given to each and every one of us. The Spirit do not discriminate, but He gives to each and every person the gift that will be used by he or she. The Spirit of God do not break us. It rather brings us together. It rather fosters us together. It rather makes us one. So my dear brothers and sisters, know that there is unity that has been formed to us. There is grace that is coming into our hearts. There is love that is going to fill us in everything that we do. Beloved, today as we are filled with the Holy Spirit, let us also know that the Spirit have come to break every barrier in our life. It is not because you are Muslim or a Christian, a Dagao or an Ebe or an Ashanti, but it is that Spirit that unites and fosters the love that Christ brings to us. May the Lord help you to foster this love that he bestowed upon you. May you allow yourself to be enlightened by the Spirit. And may God continue to bless each and every endeavor that you undertake. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless you.